Hello noble ones and welcome to Metatron's Academy. Today we are talking about the differences between Sicilian and Italian. So is Sicilian a separate language? Well according to UNESCO it is considered to be a minority language so separate and therefore I think it's more correct to say that Sicilian is a dialect of Latin rather than being a dialect of Italian. But people in Sicily do speak Italian as well they just tend to have a, a Sicilian accent. This is fantastic but how much do they differ? If an Italian from any other region mainland comes to Sicily and people are actually speaking full-on Sicilian, will he be able to understand? Well, I'm going to show you in a second what actual full-on Sicilian sounds like and how different it actually is from standard Italian. But I do have to underline the fact that there isn't just one single Sicilian spoken everywhere the same in the island of Sicily. People in Agrigento, Catania, Messina, Palermo, Trapani, Enna, you name it, Everyone speaks their own version. Intonation is going to be different. Pronunciation, lexicon, vocabulary, grammar. They are very different, we could say, dialects of the Sicilian language. Let me tell you a story in Palermo Sicilian, keeping in mind that this is not going to be a great example of, say, Sicilian poetry. We'll make a dedicated video. That one sounds beautiful. What I'm about to say, though, is how people would speak on the streets. Let's see how much you can understand. Curò, stamattina vendevo un paliemmo per travagliare, ma chi hanno pititto, risse a cattare qualche cosa di mangiare. Menneva potia per pisciare, ma cattava quattro chili di mirinciana per fare i mirinciana ammottonata, come si so fanno in paliemmo. Arrivò un picciotto e mi disse cuci ma dare i piccioli. E mi fece un finiaimmo. Ci disse tocco se un cristiano che va travaglia tutta in nata per campare la sua famiglia, ti pare giuizzo? Domani rispondi io, un manteriassa, se non ci vette chiù. Vedi sono t'ammazzotta famiglia, te la sento terra moito, te taglia la faccia, coi nodo. Ci restiamo ne, che faremo a consumare stamattina, vedi sono te sgangame rotta. O il si scantò, e sa cogghi. Ci disse se t'anna in mezza strada, ti accava donna di strada nella nasca, che per sento ruccia, avrà accelerare caricchie. O capisci? <ride> Questa mattina sono andato a Palermo per lavorare. Mi è venuto appetito e ho deciso di mangiare qualche cosa. Sono andato nella bottega per mangiare e ho comprato 4 kg di melanzane per fare le melanzane abbottonate come si fa a Palermo. Al che è arrivato un ragazzo e mi ha detto dammi i tuoi soldi e mi ha fatto una rapina a mano armata. Al che gli ho detto e tu in questo modo dai fastidio a una persona che lavora tutto il giorno per dare da mangiare alla propria famiglia? Ti sembra giusto? E mi ha risposto non mi interessa e io ho perso le staffe. Vedi se non ti ammazzo tutta la famiglia. Ti lascio in terra morto. Ti taglio la faccia. Ti spacco la testa. Lui si è spaventato ed è scappato. E io gli ho detto, vedi che se ti incontro in mezzo alla strada, ti do una testata sul naso che per poter sentire gli aromi dovrai odorare con le orecchie. Hai capito? This morning I went to Palermo for work. Then I was a little peckish and I decided I'd like to buy something to eat. So I went to a shop and I bought four kilograms of aubergines, also known as eggplants, to make a typical dish from Palermo. Suddenly a boy arrived and he told me, give me all your money and he tried to mug me. So I told him, and this is what you do, you just go bother someone who works all day to try and support his family. To which he replied, I don't care. So I lost it and I told him, I'm going to kill your entire family. I'm going to leave you for dead. I will cut your face. I will break your head. So he got scared and he left. And I told him, if I run into you in the middle of the street, I will headbutt you on your nose. And in order for you to be able to smell, you'll have to use your ears. Understand? This was wonderful. Okay, after this little story, please let me know how much you got in the comments below. But generally speaking, I want to say that when Sicilian is spoken in a very broad sense, really deep Sicilian language, people from mainland won't be able to understand. And I've got to say that if you are from another area of Sicily, you might have not understood everything I said. In fact, you might have not understood much even if you're still Sicilian, but just from another location. If you are from Palermo, you might have noticed that I purposely used a word for to eat rather than manciare, which is more commonly used. I used pistiari, which is considered to be really like bad, vulgar. I used it on purpose because the roots of that word 
uh, from ancient Greek. And there are loads of words that come from Latin, of course, but Greek, Arabic, Spanish, French, possibly Phoenician. And that is because of all the different dominations and people that intermingled and conquered uh, the island, being uh, the biggest island in the Mediterranean Sea. We saw it all. So our language is particularly rich, and that also explains why there are so many different varieties. Now, we'll make a dedicated video to Sicilian accents, so how to distinguish, oh, this person must be from Catania, and this person is definitely from Agrigento, and this speaker must be a native Palermo speaker. And even though there is, of course, a common denominator, there are some things that just all Sicilians say, uh, but there are also many other differences and ways in which we pronounce our T's, our D's, our doubles, that really tell it away. And even our vowels, believe it or not. Vowel quality changes depending on which area of the island. Still for today, I just wanted to share these little stories to test your ability to understand fluently spoken Sicilian. Let me know how you did in the comments below. And thank you for joining Metatron's Academy.